Hey guys, I'm Dave Hackett and this is my very, very brand new latest book. Now this is called Norman Enormous and it's a bit of a departure. It's um, unlike the cartooning books and unlike the novels that I've done before, this is a book for slightly smaller people. It's an early readers kind of a book with lots of lovely pictures such as, you know, lovely pictures like this. Very lovely and nice. And I did all the pictures myself and wrote the story too. Um, but I'll tell you a little bit about the book. It's, it's a story of, I can read it off the back here, shall I? It says, the story of two very different people who just might have something in common. So it's the story of Norman and Normus, and he's a lovely, sweet guy, and he lives all alone in his house. And he's a, he's a fairly big guy, probably about three to four metres tall. So he's just a really big guy, and he lives all alone in his house. And the one thing he wants is his own special, true friend. He doesn't have any friends. No one visits, and it's a little bit sad. And then somehow he finds Norman enormous across town. Norman not so enormous across town, and he's very small. He lives in his normal-sized house, and he rides a mouse across the, across the floor, and he's a very tiny little guy. And so Big Norman invites Little Norman to tea. And here's how it works. I'll read this little bit to you. It goes like this. Norman Enormous is fast getting ready. For dinner, he's cooking 10-metre spaghetti, and meatballs like pumpkins but bigger and brown, which he'll jab with huge pitchforks, then gobble them down. It's a lovely picture. Ooh. I'm not very skilled at the turning pages upside down. So as they go along, they start to get a little bit, a little bit unsure. Norman not so enormous stops at his door, and a question appears that was not there before. What if when I arrive, we have nothing to say? We two are so different in every way. Norman enormous is worried as well. Would the night work out fine? There was no way to tell. It's too late to cancel. I've cooked all the pasta, but I fear this whole evening might be a disaster. And then when little Norman gets to the door, Norman Enormous welcomes his guest. No words leave his mouth. His heart beats in his chest. Neither one speaks as they sit for their meal. Not a sound, not a word, not a squeak, not a squeal. The Normans proceed to soundlessly eat, staring down at their bowls, at the floor, at their feet. But deep down inside, wishing something would change, Norman Not So Enormous thinks something quite strange. Instead of just gobbling food in the quiet, I suppose I could talk. Perhaps I could try it. I like to ride skateboards, he says. Oh, and bikes. Well, fab whack -a doodle they're things that I like. And from there, I won't read any more. don't want to give it away. But it could be just possible that Norman Enormous might find somebody that he has a little something in common with. And possibly he could find himself a very true, fun best friend, just the way he's been after.